second problem x to the power of 4 plus 4 ok. Let us find out derivative of x to the power of 4 plus 4 with respect to x using the first principles. So, whenever the condition is given using first principles means we have to use by definition or ab initio or first principles formula only. So, otherwise using the standard results directly we can differentiate the given function. So, now solution let us suppose the given function f of x is equal to x to the power of 4 plus 4. Next step is find f of x plus h. See f of x plus h means x plus h whole to the power of 4 plus 4. Now, from the first principles or by definition from the first principles. So, we have f dash x or dy by dx is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h ok. Now, f dash x is equal to limit h tends to 0 this f of x plus h is x plus h whole power 4 plus 4 and minus f of x is x to the power of 4 plus 4 by h. Now, let us simplify the numerator just brackets of that is all. So, now this is equal to limit h tends to 0 x plus h whole power 4 plus 4 minus x to the power of 4 minus 4 by h. Now, plus 4 minus 4 will be get cancelled. So, what we have? Limit h tends to 0 x plus h whole power 4 minus x power 4 by h. Again just if you visualize the problem, so this can be put in the form of limit x tends to a x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a. So, that means h we have to change without changing its value that means add x subtract x. So, next step the limit h tends to 0 x plus h to the power of 4 minus x to the power of 4 by this is x plus h minus x. Now, as x approaches to 0 this x plus h approaches to x. Now, this limit changes limit x plus h approaches to x x plus h whole power 4 minus x power 4 by x plus h minus x. This is nothing but limit x tends to a x to the power of n minus a to the power of n by x minus a. We know this is n into a power n minus 1. Okay, can we apply that formula? Now, applying that formula we get 4 into x to the power of 4 minus 1 is 3. So, therefore, f dash x means dy by dx, dy by dx is 4 x cube or d by dx of x to the power of 4 plus 4 is equal to 4 x cube. 
see x to the power of 4 derivative is 4 x cube 4 differentiation becomes 0 only because 4 is constant. Now, let us move to the next problem. Third problem a x square plus b x plus c. See for your kind information the same question may not be appeared in the examination, but the same concept may be applied for the different problems. So, my better suggestion is to the all the viewers that actually. So, you have to prepare your own questions like this model and by watching these videos better you practice by your own. Okay. Let us do this problem. Let us suppose this f of x is equal to a x square plus b x plus c. Now, let us find out f of x plus h. This is a of x plus h whole square plus b of x plus h plus c. So, we can simplify this is a of a plus b whole square this is x square plus 2 h x plus h square plus b x plus b h plus c. Again it can be simplified a x square plus 2 a h x plus a h square plus b x plus b h plus c. Now, we know f of x, f of x plus h value. Now, from the first principles, first principles, f dash x is equal to d y by d x is equal to limit h tends to 0 f of x plus h minus f of x by h. So, let us substitute f of x plus h is 